You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, and co-host, Keelan Harvey, on Alternative Talk AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage experts, Tina Mitchell and Keelan Harvey. You are listening to The Money Hour at 1150 AM KPNW, the Friday, October 30th virtual show. Because of COVID-19, our show is temporarily moved virtually. You can listen to our show on podcast. Also, catch us on air on Saturday at 3 p.m. with a rebroadcast on Sunday at 8 a.m. I am your host, Tina Mitchell. And I'm your co-host, Keelan Harvey. We bring into studio each week the best of the best experts in our local market on everything regarding your money. We are here to help you in today's economy. And now in studio, we have Kathy Lewis of Healing Tree, PNW, Gemstone, and cranial sex girl therapy, energy therapy, surviving and thriving in stressful times right here on 1150 AM KKNW. Kathy, thank you so much for being here and very excited to have you in studio with us for the very first time. Thank you for having me. I'm very pleased to be here. First of all, Tina, you nailed that, by the way, craniosacral. I can see why that could be a tough one. Um, so, but you killed it that time. So I'm giving you yeah, some serious you, props you for just that. Na- you just nailed it the first time. <laughs> well, it's not an easy word for anybody. I'll tell you that much. So um, why Tiffany or Kathy? I just called you Tiffany. I'm so sorry. I'm looking at Tiffany and talking to Kathy. I'm sorry. Why, uh, Kathy, would someone consider using gemstone or craniosacral therapy? Well, um, before we do that, I just want to refer back to Tiffany. When you were talking about your diamond and how you use that as the model, that is so interesting because the diamond is considered the master gem. And I just found the synchronicity there. I just had to acknowledge that because that was really lovely. Um, So why would somebody here in these crazy times consider a therapy that just sounds so out there? Um, but really we have been under such incredible stresses, like some people, this is just unprecedented stress and there is so much difficulty in finding ways to help support that. And gemstone and cranial sacral are ideal ways to do that. And actually gemstone therapy can be done remotely. So there's, it's like the perfect antidote. Um, so why wouldn't you? So let's talk about what is GEMSO and cardiosacral therapy. Gemstone therapy in today's world, um, you know, people have been into rocks and crystals throughout history. We identify with it. We were drawn to it. Um, this is not the hippy dippy therapy from back in the eighties where somebody would throw a chunk of a crystal up on your chest and say that you were getting some extraordinary therapy from this. This is not that, um, this is using very, very high grade, uh, medical therapeutic grade gemstones in really sophisticated ways, um, with very specific protocols. There is an extraordinary amount of training that goes into it, and it can treat issues at every level, treat issues at the physical level, emotional, mental, spiritual, life issues. Um, If it's involved with the human energy field, we can work with it. Um, So that's the short answer. Love it. You know, I'm, I, I've kind of nerded out on it and I mean, nerd that out on it in the coolest way. Cause I'm a nerd and I think nerds are awesome and anything that you really love, you can nerd out on it, right? No matter what, how cool it is. But, um, I kind of dipped my toes in my other half, got a salt stone and uh, put it in my office and it's supposed to absorb some type of energy. She got me a bracelet. I don't have it on right now with these little black beads that are supposed to absorb negativity. And then I have three stones next to my bathtub and I don't know what they are. One's a crystal, one's something else. I don't know what they are, but it's it's found its way in my household is my point, Um, but nowhere near your level. But um, anyway, so I wanted to get your feedback on how do I know if gemstone and or craniosacral therapy is right for me? Well, one, this is, this is energy work and energy is the underpinning of our entire world. Um, I used to believe that, that that was just a bunch of junk. I was like, oh, these energy people, they're so silly. They're 
out there, you know, what do they know? Oh, what do they know? Um, I have since changed my tune. And if you, one really great way that you can tell if this might be for you is if you've had an ongoing, especially at the physical level, if you've had an injury or a condition and you have sought out every sort of treatment, everything, and this heals a little bit, it might heal fully, but it re-injures very easily. You can bet that there is probably some sort of underlying energetic condition that needs to be corrected in order for full healing to take place. So that's one really great way to know if it's for you. Um, and another is if you have been in talk therapy, you've been seeing a, a psychologist, you have been coaching, and you're running it up against things that you can't quite put your finger on, but you know you just can't get past it. You can't talk your way past where you're at. That's a really good indication that my work would be helpful. So Kathy, how are you uh, dealing even you know more so in the line of work that you're in with the concerns of close contact? Well, there are state mandated uh, safety protocols that we follow very, very carefully because health is first and foremost. And also um, by doing a remote session, which is an energetic connection, it's not a Zoom call. It is not technology. It, it is a true energetic connection. And that way a person can be in their own home, comfort of their own home. I am in my space and we can do this extraordinary healing work with absolutely no danger of contagion. Wow, that is cool. Um, can you give, I'm sure, and I'm wondering too, because you run through a couple of scenarios, just like some examples and situations, even a story maybe if you have one, if you want to go that far with issues that you work with or, you know, some situations in where you've helped others. Um, I'll say there are two that are probably really pertinent and connected to your show today. One is... Uh, the anxiety and depression that people are facing with these just unprecedented times. As you were saying earlier, Keelan, you know, we, we had to spin on a dime and people's lives shifted in a moment. Um, people who live alone uh, were isolated terribly. People who do not live alone maybe didn't need quite as much of their loved ones as they thought they did. Um, trying to remote school, trying to work from home, trying to make it all work. There's a lot of anxiety. And I've had some clients who did fine in that contained space, but when they were free to move about, they found that they couldn't leave the house without heart palpitations, without extreme anxiety. And that's because the chakra system, the, that's the body's major, the primary energetic system, uh, adapted what I called strategies for, for coping. And we are just amazingly resilient creatures. We've adopted, I have seen some creative adaptations, but when we, those work for a while, but then they kind of get stuck and people can't move past it. They don't know why hasn't this passed? Why don't I feel better? Why does this elephant still feel like it's on my chest? Why am I not feeling joy? What is this how it's going to be forever? And it doesn't need to be. They come to see me, work with them, and I can easily identify using my gemstone tools where the problem is and correct it, support the body in correcting itself. And they walk out going, I don't know what you did. Nobody else has been able to help me. And I feel great. So that's a really big big thing in these times that I'm just feel so blessed to be able to provide for people. Yeah, I have uh, a little uh, funny comment here, but you know, we're in a 4,100,000 uh, square foot home. And my husband says, when am I going back to work? I'm causing him uh, stress. So yeah. Anyways, Kathy, so I'm a time management business efficiency uh, coach. And I always tell people, if you have emotional stress attached to your business, you need to figure out a better way 
to run your business because otherwise that emotional stress is going to have a ripple effect and it's going to continue to get worse very quickly. And same thing in your space is when you're feeling that space that you just can't seem to feel right, you have that depression, depression, that anxiety, it's really critically important that you get with an expert that can help break, create that better space for you because it's going to have a ripple effect and it's going to get worse quickly if you don't figure out how to adjust it. So let's talk about if you can share a little bit more about how uh, gemstone therapy really works. That is kind of an in-depth, uh, it, it's quantum energy, basically. Um, but the body knows how to heal itself. Innately, our bodies are so intelligent. And when uh, given the proper support, being these very high quality gemstones and a knowledgeable therapist, we can provide that support and care for the body then to be able to resolve, unwind and figure out how it can best heal. And that's with the gems and that's also with the cranial sacral is that it, it supports the body's own natural healing process. Um, and it is just so beautiful to be a part of. I feel very, very blessed to be in this work. That is awesome. And, and that, is a, that is a beautiful thought. I mean, our bodies do what they're supposed to do unless we don't align ourselves to be in alignment with our body. And so it sounds what you're doing is you have that gift to be able to bring an individual in line with their their body so that it's doing what it's supposed to do and yeah i i bet it has to be a real blessing that you get to be such a a support to people and what a great show today you know kathy we have you on the emotional uh support uh tiffany on the financial support and really there's an expert out there for every area regarding your financing and your life and that's what the show is really about is to bring the best people in studio so we can get you connected so you can have the best life. So thank you to both of you for being here today. Thank you for having me. And I am your host, Tina Mitchell. And I'm your co-host, Stephen Harvey. We are your local mortgage experts, and we have to sign off for the day. However, we'll be here same time, same place to talk more money next week, right here on 1150 AM KKNW.